Hello, and welcome back to Game On, where we use sports and competition to talk about everything related to mental health. Another previous video, I talked about soccer, and now I'm going to draw a parallel between soccer and chess. At this international competition that I was at, had close to 40 sports, one of them being chess. Now we can debate a different time if you want to consider it a sport. So I'm not really a major soccer guy, but I did wind up spending a lot of time watching soccer matches and I actually have a, a, a real appreciate and better appreciation for soccer now that I was really with the team and watching and learning different parts of the game. And soccer is typically a low scoring game and they can go up and down the field many times. And it seems like, like, are they accomplishing anything? Like, what are they doing? And, and you hear them talking to each other. And what I realized and what I learned is that there's a tremendous amount of patience you have to have in soccer and actually in chess because a lot of the moves that you're making so you're going up the field and you attempt something and you're actually really setting it up okay mental note okay they did this i did this okay keep working this keep working that and then the next time and then the next time and then the next time and when you pick up these small observations you're building up to a crescendo if you will or a point where then you're in a position to get into the box and be able to score or you're getting a certain uh, call where you have a corner kick or a throw in and then you're positioning yourself to score so it's not about what's right in front of you it's about thinking a couple moves ahead similar to chess right you're not thinking about that move and you get crushed you're thinking about five six seven eight i don't know how many moves now i know i can't think that far ahead but you're building it's all part of this like broader plans so you come in with a game plan to chess or to soccer and you're thinking a couple moves ahead and then you're building building up to that so it's not in a vacuum and i think that was like that sort of like had a, a light bulb moment for me there's a lot of things that we do that if we could like step back and this is like a, a cog in the wheel this is like a, a step in this bigger plan then we might feel less disappointed a little bit more accomplished less pressured for for each and everything sometimes we get so focused on well did this thing accomplish anything and no it didn't so it was a waste of time i'm failure or whatever it is this is this is this is it wasn't worth my time i could have been doing something else but if you step back and, and you realize okay what did i take from it and then i build and i build and i like okay this that this that until hopefully you're in a position to score then all those little things even if on its own didn't accomplish anything per se it was very very valuable and so if we can develop that patience for every step along the way and not just be either i win or i lose i succeed or i fail then we'll be in a much better spot whether it's about ourselves whether it's about our work whether it's about even a hobby or a family we sometimes like have such a narrow view of what to expect that we're either very happy or very disappointed and so it would be great if we can have that patience and see each step as one move towards hopefully being able to score hope you enjoyed and if you did please subscribe share so we can get more people to gain something from these videos.